evening, everybody. Thank you for your patience. Um, welcome to our Match Day Minus One press conference ahead of tomorrow's Champions League game against Olympique Marseille. I'm joined by our assistant head coach, Christian Cellini, and our midfielder, pierre Evan Hoiberg. We'll start with questions for Pierre, before then letting him leave, and then take questions for Christian, please. Uh, Paul, would you like to start us off with questions for Pierre, please? Hi, Pierre. Uh, Pierre, Antonio is one of those managers who really makes his presence felt on the touchline. Can you just put into words how big a loss that will be? And on a second note, Jose Mourinho once hit in a laundry basket to address the players, to escape a ban. Do you think Antonio has the confidence to try something, maybe a bit more original, but try something nevertheless? No, first of all, it's, uh, yeah. it's good now. Yes. No, first of all, to the first question, uh, of course, uh, your head coach is a massive part of uh, of a team, and. Um, Luckily, uh, he has a very good staff and players that are well aware of what he expects from them. And uh, we will all try our best to to fill the role. Uh, in the end, no one can fill his role, but we will do our best to be together and make sure that we can we can get through this together because we have to get through this together. And um, yeah, we will do it. If you will hide in a laundry basket, uh, I'm not sure I'm the one to ask. So in this case, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think no. Okay, Dan. Uh, Microphone. Do the transition. Oh, okay. okay, sorry. Just une question par rapport à Conte. C'est vraiment un coach qui se marque sa présence sur sur la pelouse. Et deuxièmement, une anecdote de José Mourinho qui une fois il s'est caché dans un panier à linge euh, avant un match de Champions avec Chelsea. Et euh, le coach, il fait vraiment une grande partie. Il est très important, mais son staff est au courant avec ce qu'il fait, ce qu'il veut. Et on va faire tous ensemble, l'équipe et le staff, on fait notre mieux pour, euh, pour passer, parce qu'on doit passer ensemble et on va le faire. Et concernant le panier à linge, il ne faut pas me demander à moi. Ça, c'est autre chose. Tom. Hi, Pierre. Um, after the, the sporting game, and, and again at Bournemouth on Saturday, um, Antonio was speaking about the mentality, and, and he's kind of said he still thinks that in terms of mentality, Spurs aren't quite there as a, as a top team, he said. Obviously, you played for, for Bayern, you know, a, a massive club. Can, can you just talk about how, how far away you think Spurs are from having that mentality of a top team, and, and also how that's changed in, in one year since Antonio came? No, it's true that uh, in one year uh, the team have. Is it okay? Yeah, in in one year the team have made uh, great progress. Uh, we still have a way to go, but um, we are in the right direction and we are working really well. And uh, you know, uh, it's always up and down, and there's always uh, moments uh, better than others. But the most important is that we are working towards towards our ambition. Uh, with the great work and a great focus, and that is something that we really are doing. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, I think everyone is responding well, and the players are showing uh, that uh, they really care for this, and uh, they are ready to, to do everything to, by the end of the season, uh, you know, to always try and be as successful as possible. Après le, le match contre Sporting, et aussi contre Bournemouth uh, le week-end dernier, Conte il a mentionné la mentalité. Peut-être il manque un peu de mentalité afin de d'atteindre ce niveau de, de club d'élite. Euh, vous qui étiez à, qui avez joué à, à Bayonne, euh, vous connaissez le, la mentalité d'un club d'élite. Est-ce que le Tottenham sont loin d'être euh, là à ce niveau-là Et qu'est-ce qui a changé avec euh, Antonio pendant l'année qu'il qu a été là Oui, dans, dans une année, on a fait beaucoup de progrès. Euh, on a toujours beaucoup à faire, mais on est sur le bon chemin ensemble. Euh, C'est la consistance, consistance maintenant, et on, on travaille ensemble. On a l'ambition et on est focalisé sur notre but à la fin de la saison. Tout le monde répond bien à, à son travail, et c'est important. Mais on est, tout, on est tous prêts à tout faire euh, pour avoir le succès. John. Hi, Pierre. Just on Antonio Conte again. 
we're used to seeing him so animated and so involved on the side of the pitch. During an average match, how much information do you get from him during the course of a game? So I'm saying again, how much of a miss will he be? No, it's, it's, a, it's a person, it's a coach that, uh, you know, lives the game with great passion, with his heart, and we are feeling this in a good way. And, uh, yeah, again, we, we, have to, we have to make sure that we are well prepared, which we are. And um, after we have to go and uh, to be successful together, you know. Um, the fact is that he will not be there on the sideline. We have to deal with that. And, uh, again, like I said, Everyone is well aware, uh, the staff is uh, well prepared, and we all uh, know that uh, we need to help each other. Uh, for me, it's not a difficult situation, it's maybe a different situation. Um, but, you know, when we, we know what to do, we are well aware of the situation, and as well the, the ambition. So, uh, of course, I understand your question and, and, and this, but the focus is, is on the pitch and, and what we have to do and what we are preparing, and then, uh, yeah, um, after, uh, um, yeah, we will do the best we can do, no? Encore une question sur Conte. C'est vraiment une, un personnage très animé et passionné sur la, la pelouse. Combien d'informations il vous donne pendant le match? Et est-ce que ça va vous manquer pendant le match demain? Oui, pendant le match, il est, c'est un, une personne très passionnée. Il, il nous gère avec son cœur, mais on doit être tous préparés ensemble afin d'avoir la succès, le succès. Et euh, concernant son absence, on doit gérer ça ensemble. On est tous préparés, le staff, les joueurs. C'est, je ne dirais pas que c'est, c'est difficile, je dirais que c'est différent. On sait quoi faire et je comprends votre question, mais là, on est focalisé sur euh, ce qu'on va faire sur la pelouse et on va se préparer bien pour demain et on va faire notre mieux. Allez. Hi, Pierre. Um, obviously, another assist for you at the weekend, setting up uh, Ryan Sessegnon. You're racking up quite a few goals and assists already so far this season. Is that a natural evolution to your kind of game role within this team, or is that something the coaches have been working and bringing maybe back into your game again? Um, I think when we are, or my feeling is, especially that we are for uh, now quite a time working intense, uh, in the same way, in a system that everyone is well aware that what to do, the specific role, roles, but we are always trying to look for improvement, to look for new situations. And I think when you get that um, confidence or let's say the understanding into onto the, um, let's say the, the bone of the system, um, you start also to be able to uh, to, to, yeah, what do you say, come up with with your own touch, which I think everyone is uh, always trying to do um, in terms of what the teams need. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure that uh, the coaches are telling me specifically to <laughs> to do that, but uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not a bad thing, no? This uh, weekend, you have made another pass day for Ryan Sessegnon. Cette saison, vous avez beaucoup de, de goals et de, de buts et de passes décisives. Est-ce que ça, c'est une na- évolution naturelle de, de votre jeu ou c'est, c'est quelque chose que vous travaillez avec les, les coachs Donc, Mon sentiment, c'est qu'on travaille tous ensemble très intensivement. Et maintenant, après une année, on connaît bien le système, on connaît bien notre, nos rôles spécifiques et on essaie de s'améliorer tous les jours dans des situations spécifiques. On a la confiance dans le système et on connaît vraiment la racine du, du système. Et peut-être on trouve des, des touches personnelles euh, pour aider l'équipe. Mais je ne dirais pas que le coach me, me dit que je dois marquer plus de buts, mais c'est pas mal quand même. John. Pierre, I was just going to ask you, you've got so much quality within this squad, within the group of players. Would, would you guys see it as a failure if you, if you don't progress in, into the knockout stages? And, how hard will that be to swallow, bearing in mind you, for three minutes last Wednesday you probably thought you were through? Yeah. Our ambition is definitely to go through, and this is the number one. The, the, the key and the ambition is to go to the knockout stages in the Champions League 
And this is what we are playing for, 100%. Yeah, it doesn't help us today, no, but I think it was a roller coaster of emotions. But again, we have an opportunity tomorrow and uh, we look very much forward to it. Vous avez beaucoup de qualité dans ce dans ce groupe. Est-ce que ça sera une une opportunité ratée si vous progressez pas demain euh, au, pro au prochain tour de, de la Champions League Et est-ce que vous êtes déçu après euh, L'autre jour, le, le match contre Sporting, la décision à la, à la fin du match. Bon, notre but, c'est de se qualifier pour les, les phases de, de knockout de Champions League, les quarts de finale. On joue pour ça, et c'est ça qui est important. Et le, la deuxième question, est-ce que, comment vous, vous avez pensé de, de cette décision l'autre jour Vous l'avez pris bien ou pas C'était un moment difficile. Euh, oui, c'était un, une montagne russe d'émotions, mais l'objectif maintenant, c'est euh, être focalisé sur le prochain match et se qualifier. OK, final question for Pierre, please. Bonjour, Pierre Mille. Si on pouvait avoir une réponse en français, ce serait top. Euh, je voulais savoir ce que ça vous faisait de, de venir jouer en France, vous qui avez la double nationalité. Euh, quel lien vous avez avec ce pays et qu -ce, à, quoi vous, à quel match vous vous attendez, surtout à quelle ambiance demain au Vélodrome Sachant que vous connaissez quand même la réputation de ce stade et de ses supporters. Um, non, déjà l'histoire de l'Olympique Marseille est déjà très très grande et toujours eu des joueurs avec haute qualité. C'est la même chose maintenant. Et oui, après on a aussi senti maintenant dans notre petit tour avec euh, le bus que même la ville la ville euh, comment tu dis euh, tu sens que c'est une ville de, de foot et, et de sport et oui c'est ça va être difficile demain dans un stade très 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 difficile mais on va essayer de notre meilleur et on est prêt pour euh, ouais, un match très difficile mais, mais on va essayer de comme, comme j'ai dit faire faire notre mieux contre une équipe uh, très bonne. Obviously, um, you have double nationality, uh, being half French. How does it feel to come and play in France, especially in front of this huge atmosphere at the Velodrome with these amazing fans? Well, the history of the club is just enormous. They've always had great players, and still up till today, that's, that uh, rings true. We even saw on our bus journey from the airport that you, you can feel The, the, it's a footballing city, it's a, a very sporting city. But tomorrow it's going to be a very tough game in a, uh, an aggressive stadium. It will be a hard match, but as I said earlier, we're going to do our best and that's what counts. Okay, Pierre, you're free to go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> Ciao, Pierre. Gary, just wave to the microphone, please. Christian, you were in the dugout when Antonio was banned for Inter Milan against Fiorentina. Can you, can you give us a flavour of what that was like being in the dugout with him in the stand sort of shouting at his brother to kind of relay the instructions down to you? Uh, uh, well, Antonio is on the touchline. He lived uh, with passion every game, but uh, probably he, he struggled more when he stayed into the crowd, and so that uh, that image uh, explained very well uh, how Antonio lives uh, his job, and is very passionate. He cannot communicate with us, and so it's, uh, he struggles a lot, and only this. Vous étiez sur le banc quand euh, Antonio Conte était suspendu pour le match Inter-Milan euh, contre euh, Fiorentina. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer comment c'était d'être sur le banc à sa place quand euh, lui il était là en train d'essayer de, de communiquer avec son frère Bon, Antonio, il a beaucoup de passion euh, pour l'équipe et ça se montre sur euh, le terrain. Et quand il est sur le banc, ça va être difficile, euh, surtout parce qu'il ne peut pas euh, se communiquer avec nous. Mais ça montre de plus en plus comment il fait son travail, comme il est efficace. 
mais on va peut-être souffrir demain, mais ça c'est tout. Domanda per il mister, soprattutto per la partita di domani in italiano, e di chiedere se, visto la storia in Champions del mister Conte, quello che è successo negli, negli ultimi dieci anni, le partite di Champions per qualificarsi non sono andate sempre bene, volevo sapere se c'è un piccolo pensierino su, su questo che, che è successo prima. E poi una domanda riguardo alla partita all'andata, dove il Tottenham ha sofferto tantissimo fino al cartellino rosso, e dunque era per sapere qual era un po' il piano di gioco per domani sera, se di giocare in maniera differente dall'andata. Uh, en français, uh, par rapport à, au passé d'Antonio Conte, uh, uh, sur le fait qu'il a eu beaucoup de difficultés à se, conna, à se, à se qualifier en, en Ligue des Champions lorsqu'il y avait un match décisif. Uh, Est-ce qu'on y pense forcément demain soir au moment d'aborder le match Et puis aussi par rapport à, au, match, uh, au match aller où Tottenham avait beaucoup souffert, comment est-ce que vous allez aborder le match demain soir Comment vous allez jouer La prima domanda, diciamo che eh, questo mestiere non ci permette di guardare troppo indietro e quindi eh, continuiamo a lavorare per, per migliorarci. E credo che Antonio sia sicuramente uno dei, dei migliori allenatori in questa competizione e anche se in passato alcune volte le cose non sono andate come eh, come ci si aspettava, lui rimane sempre un allenatore che, che può dare molto e ha dato molto anche a, a quelle squadre, non è detto che quelle squadre avessero poi eh, sempre la possibilità di andare avanti, i risultati sono questi, sono lì e, e Antonio lavora sempre per migliorarsi come, insieme a noi, insieme a tutto il suo staff, quindi siamo sempre convinti guardando al futuro che si può sempre fare meglio. Okay, so Antonio Conte, over the last 10 years, he's had struggled in some aspects to progress in the Champions League. It's not always been easy for him. So um, especially after the first leg, uh, or the, the home match against Marseille, you struggled a lot. So tomorrow, how will that be for you? And can I answer to the second? Ah, scusa. Uh, sorry. Uh, per quanto riguarda la partita di andata, uh, sì, è vero che abbiamo sofferto <laughs> parecchio uh, il, il Marsiglia ha giocato un'ottima un gara e fino, fino al... è stata una partita equilibrata, giocata in vari momenti a, meglio da noi, in alcuni momenti meglio dal Marsiglia, hanno creato parecchie difficoltà e poi dopo il cartellino rosso è stato per noi più facile, ma già in quel momento il cartellino rosso è arrivato in una fase in cui il Tottenham stava prevalendo su, sul Marsiglia. Ok, uh, we keep on working hard to improve. Antonio is one of the best in the game and in this competition, even if he hasn't done as well as expected uh, historically. He remains one of the best coaches in the world and he gives uh, the players the best chance to progress. He, he um, as a coach, he's also trying to improve and tries to improve our staff as well. And The second part of the question, yes, we suffered, suffered during the game. Marseille were a very strong opponent. Uh, lot, big parts of the game were balanced, but um, other parts of the game, Marseille created more, and the game went back and forth. Uh, but then we also had moments where we were on top and should have uh, capitalized on this. Okay, Ali. Okay. La question, no, pas la question, okay. On essaie tout le temps de, de s'améliorer. Antonio, c'est un des meilleurs euh, entraîneurs du monde, et surtout dans ce, cette compétition. Même s'il n'a pas eu euh, la chance, ou il n'a pas fait comme on l'attendait de lui, euh, historiquement, mais il, il reste l'un des, des meilleurs coachs du monde. Et il donne la meilleure opportunité possible à ses joueurs euh, pour progresser dans la compétition. Et lui-même, il essaie de s'améliorer tous les jours et il essaie de faire améliorer son, son staff. Et on a souffert contre Marseille. C'était un, un, un adversaire très, très difficile, très, très dur. Euh, il y avait des parties du match qui étaient plus équilibrées, mais des autres moments où Marseille, ils ont pu se créer. Et nous aussi, on a eu des bons moments, mais c'était un des matchs comme ça. Okay. Hi. Hi, Christian. Um, can you tell us which players are unavailable for the match tomorrow? 
Uh, we have not available uh, Kuluzewski and Richarlison and Romero as well. Uh, other players are available to, to play the match. Uh, Est-ce que vous pouvez dire quels joueurs ne sont pas disponibles demain? Uh, Kuluzewski, Richarlison et Christian Romero. Les autres sont tous disponibles. James. Um, hi there. Um, eight of the last 11 games, Tottenham have conceded the first goal. Um, can you put your finger on why that is? And, and given the stakes tomorrow and the likely atmosphere, is starting well going to be one of the key messages that you give to the team? Yes, this is one of the key messages we, we gave to, to the player In the last period, we work uh, a lot to change uh, this routine because it uh, often happened in the last period that we consider the first goal and we are uh, slow in the first half. Um, it's normal in, in, that peri in this period that uh, the energy uh, You have in, we have not in, enough energy to play all the 90 minutes with a with greater intensity, but happen uh, more in the first half. And is a, is a key message we send to the player, and we work on this aspect to, to create uh, for tomorrow uh, the perfect so solution, perfect solution to start well in the game because it uh, would be hard for 90 minutes and we have to start well in, in the next game. And we work uh, yesterday and in the last two weeks uh, to improve this, this aspect. Uh, huit des derniers 11 matchs, uh, vous avez encaissé le premier but. Comment vous, vous allez régler ça demain Est-ce que c'est un message que vous allez communiquer à l'équipe Et surtout avec euh, la pression qu'on qu va sentir dans le stade Oui, c'est clair qu'on qu voudrait changer cette routine. Donc c'est le, le premier but dans le match. Et en plus, dans tout le, le premier mi-temps, on est assez lent. C'est normal, dans cette période de la saison, on souffre avec l'énergie et l'intensité avec laquelle on joue. Euh, on souffre dans la, la première mi-temps, mais c'est quelque chose sur lequel on, on travaille. Euh, on est focalisé sur cet aspect-là et on essaye de trouver une solution pour demain, euh, pour bien commencer le match. Et parce que euh, 90 minutes de ça, c'est difficile, mais on travaille pour euh, commencer bien le match demain. Dave. Hi, <coughs> Hi Christian. Um, Can you just explain how it will work tomorrow night with Antonio? We're all assuming that he will sit in the stand. Is he going to sit next to Gianluca? Is there going to be a, a, a method for him to get some messages to you guys? Thanks. But he, he will sit uh, next to Gianluca for sure. And uh, I don't know where he, he will be here at the stadium, but um, he will work uh, with us uh, until we arrive here, and then uh, we, we have to stop the communication and stay close to Gianluca, but we, we are preparing well the game, uh, all the strategies, and Antonio prepare like always uh, the game, and our strategy, strategy are clear in every game, and we have to play our match uh, at the best. And every one of us has to do something more to fill the gap. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer comment ça va fonctionner demain avec l'absence de Conte? Est-ce qu'il sera au stade, dans les tribunes, avec Gianluca? Et est-ce qu'il y aura moyen qu'il vous envoie des messages? Oui, c'est sûr qu'il sera à côté de Gianluca. Je ne sais pas où exactement, mais c'est clair qu'il sera au stade. Il va travailler avec nous jusqu'à ce qu'on arrive ici. Mais dès ce moment-là, il doit arrêter toutes les communications avec nous. Oui, il va rester avec Gianluca. 
Mais euh, Antonio, comme toujours, il prépare le jeu. Il a sa stratégie pour le jeu très au clair. Et après, c'est notre responsabilité de faire notre mieux euh, pendant le match pour euh, affronter ce, ce, ce match. Ouais. OK. Hi, Christian. Hi. In English or in French? French? Which, whichever you prefer. OK. Bonjour. Euh, vous avez... Euh, Igor Tudor a beaucoup joué et entraîné en Italie. Est-ce que vous l'avez côtoyé euh, en Italie et que pensez-vous de son style euh, en tant qu'entraîneur uh, Tudor est quelqu'un qui a joué beaucoup en Italie et a managé en Italie. Que pensez-vous de son style Igor Tudor, l'entraîneur de, de, de Marsiglia, a joué en Italie et a entraîné en Italie. Oui, il est un ami d'Antonio. Ils jouent in the same the same team they are really close friend and we know we know very well him uh, he he worked in italy and the way he he learned to to create uh, and the way he works with uh, with his team and we know as well that uh, would be very hard to play against uh, uh, Marseille, because uh, his manager is a is a very tough manager. He mixed the uh, intensity and quality. Marseille is very is very good in quality, and this year they increased their their intensity in the in every game, and they start very well this season. And it would be important to do our best to well perform, because uh, for sure, will be a tough game. Vous connaissez bien euh, Igor Tudor, l'entraîneur le, de, de Marseille, vu qu'il a joué en Italie et il a, il était coach en Italie aussi. Oui, bien sûr, c'est un, un ami d'Antonio. En fait, ils ont joué dans la même équipe. C'est un très proche ami. Ils se connaissent bien et on le connaît bien ben, depuis son temps, son, son, ouais, sa période en Italie. Il a beaucoup appris ces derniers temps et maintenant. On voit comme il crée euh, sa propre équipe. Ils vont être un, un adversaire très dur à affronter demain. Euh, Marseille, parce que Tudor, c'est un coach très euh, rude. Euh, il joue avec beaucoup d'intensité, mais aussi de qualité. Et cette saison, cette saison ils ont euh, amélioré son, son intensité sur le, la pelouse. Et ils ont vraiment bien euh, commencé cette saison. Du coup, demain, c'est très important qu'on qu fasse notre mieux. Uh, pour ce match. Okay, final two questions, Dan and then Georgia, please. Hi, Christian. Um, are you expecting Antonio to do a team talk on the coach before you arrive at the stadium? And at half time, are you expecting to be able to speak to Conte before you speak to the players? H how will that work, or will you give the half time talk? We are not allowed You're to, not sp to speak uh, with Antonio in the half time. Uh, he will stay on the coach with, with player. Normally, we use two different coach, and he will be. And then uh, the way uh, we we divide our way, and we are we will go in the in the dressing room, and Antonio will go in uh, in another seat, and and then uh, finish here after the game, after 15 minutes. We are allowed to speak uh, again. Du coup, demain, on peut attendre que Antonio fasse euh, son meeting avec l'équipe dans le car, euh, dans le bus, avant de d'arriver ici. Et en plus, pour euh, la mi-temps, est-ce qu'il pourra parler avec l'équipe dans le vestiaire Non. Euh, encore une fois, on ne peut pas avoir aucune co communication avec Antonio. Il reste ailleurs. Euh, on sera les deux coachs euh, différents pour euh, communiquer avec l'équipe. Et Conte, il sera loin. Euh, nous, on fera dans le, dans le vestiaire. Et Antonio, il ne sera, il sera pas là. Mais 15 minutes après la, la fin du match, on pourra de nouveau parler avec lui. OK, final question, please, Georgia. Okay. 
Buonasera Stellini. I do it my question in Italian if possible, so maybe you can answer in Italian. Um, cosa, cosa cambia senza Antonio Conte? Una cosa che è già successa, può insomma capitare. Le chiedo anche a livello pratico proprio che cosa cambia, qual è l'ultimo momento in cui ci sarà una comunicazione con la squadra, cosa cambia anche per lei rispetto al solito, per farci un po' capire e entrare un po' in questa atmosfera. Grazie. Beh, cambia, cambia moltissimo perché la presenza di un allenatore come Antonio è, è forte durante la settimana ed è importante anche durante un, un match, soprattutto quando i match sono combattuti fino all'ultimo e eh, di difficile interpretazione anche durante la gara. Quindi eh, cambia che dobbiamo prepararci tutti quanti Prima in, in un modo diverso perché per me chiaramente prendere delle decisioni eh, necessita di una preparazione nel, nel giorno prima quando invece spesso queste decisioni Antonio le vive da solo, le prepara da solo e quindi lo, lo dobbiamo fare insieme prima e quindi preparare molte più strategie per me è, è un lavoro un po' più complesso ecco. Non è successo già in passato, quindi abbiamo già, già vissuto questa esperienza, sappiamo come affrontarla e sappiamo che ognuno di noi, perché io poi non sarò da solo, rappresento anche, eh, e mi piace parlare di questo, perché rappresento anche uno staff intero e ci sarà Ryan Mason a, al mio fianco ad aiutarmi e quindi non sono da solo e questo mi fa sentire sicuramente meglio. Hey, sorry, in English first. What's going to change without Antonio, especially with no uh, communication with him? How is that going to be different for you? Well, that changes a lot. The presence of a coach like Conte, um, both before the game in the week leading up to it and during the match, is just indispensable, especially a tough match like this where it's going to be intense until the final whis whistle. Um, it's a change that's, that's difficult, but we have to prepare ourselves Um, all together before the match. It's a totally different world because normally the day before, the days before the game, Antonio will do all his preparation himself alone. But now we have to do this all together, so it changes everything. We have to work on the strategy and this be can become complex. However, we've already gone through this together in, in our time at Inter, so we know what to do when he's not there. And luckily, I'm not there on my own. We've got the whole staff, such as Ryan Mason, uh, who are alongside me. So that makes me feel better. Et en français, qu'est-ce qui va changer sans, euh, sans Antonio euh, sur le banc euh, En plus, avec euh, la manque de communication avec lui, qu'est-ce qui va être différent pour vous Oui, ça change beaucoup. La, la présence d'un entraîneur comme Conte, c'est très important. Quand il est là toute la semaine euh, avant le match et en plus pendant le match, particulièrement quand c'est un, un match comme ça difficile où on va, ça va être intense jusqu'à la fin du match. Mais c'est des changes qu'on qu qu doit faire ensemble. C'est un monde entièrement dif, ah, différent vu que normalement, Antonio, il fait sa préparation, sa stratégie tout seul euh, dans les jours avant le match. Mais maintenant, on doit tout le faire ensemble euh, et c'est plus complexe. Mais euh, heureusement, on a déjà euh, vécu ça ensemble. Du coup, on sait ce qu'on va faire. On sait le, le procédure qu'on doit prendre. Et heureusement, je ne suis pas tout seul. Il y a tout le staff du club, euh, comme Ryan Mason, qui seront là. Du coup, ça me soulage un peu. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Bonjour, mate. Merci. 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 Merci.